Sniper rifles with a charge time. Are they good? If you want to know the answer to that, you're going to have to watch another video because we're only looking at weapon parts here. We're going to be taking a look at every single part that can spawn on a non-unique or non-legendary Malawan sniper rifle. And we're going to start off with the special ability of Malawan weapons. Malawan weapons have the unique ability of spawning with two different elements that you can toggle between. Now the elemental part will determine which elements spawn, and you will get two different elements of the following five. Fire, Shock, Corrosive, Cryo, or Radiation. Now we're going to take a look at the body of the gun. The body will be the same on all Malawan sniper rifles, no matter the rarity. And the body itself can spawn with three different accessories. The first body accessory is going to increase your damage by 10%. Here's a better view of this part from over the top of the gun. The second accessory is going to increase your elemental damage by 10%. Now whenever you see an elemental modifier on a weapon part, it's referring to your dot. With this, your dot will deal 10% more damage per second. It doesn't affect your base damage. And the third accessory is going to decrease your reload time by 10%. That'll do it for the body and its accessories, and now we'll take a look at the four barrels. The barrels will provide each Malawan sniper with its base name, and each will come with a unique set of accessories that no other barrel will be able to spawn with. The barrels are the multiplex barrel, the particle rifle barrel, the proton rifle barrel, and the antimatter rifle barrel, which is the alien barrel. We're going to start off with the multiplex. This one will have a brief charge time before it begins to fire fully automatically. Of the three non-alien barrels, this one will have the second highest base damage and the second highest fire rate. This is what the barrel looks like, and it can spawn with up to three different accessories. The first will be a melee attachment that will increase your melee damage by 80%, and will also decrease your charge time by 20%. The second accessory will provide a 10% fire rate increase. And the third one here will do the same thing as the second. Next, we'll look at the particle rifle. The particle rifle will have a brief charge time before shooting in three round bursts. It has both the highest base fire rate and the highest base damage of the three non-alien barrels, but the fast fire rate has more to do with the fact that it's a burst fire weapon. This is the barrel, and like the multiplex, this can also have three accessories. The first accessory will decrease your charge duration by 20%. The second shown here will increase your damage by 10%. And the third one will also give you a 10% damage increase. Now we have the proton rifle. The Proton Rifle has the lowest base damage and has about the same base fire rate as the Multiplex, but it's a semi-auto sniper rifle. It does have a charge time, but it's not necessary to be able to shoot this. The nice thing about the charge time on this though is that the longer you hold the charge, the higher your damage will go, but it will stop at a certain point, and that point is double the damage. Here's what the barrel looks like. You'll notice it will also provide a splash damage radius of 80. This one also has three accessories it can spawn with. The first will increase your elemental chance by 15%. The second will increase your elemental damage by 10%. And the third will do the same thing, providing a 10% elemental damage increase. Now again, these accessories all affect the dot, nothing else. Then we come to the antimatter rifle, the alien barrel. It is a semi-auto snipe rifle that has no charge time, but is not the most ammo efficient gun, consuming three shots every time you pull the trigger. It has the highest elemental effect chance and cryo efficiency of any of the barrels, but has a pretty low base damage and fire rate. You can see the barrel here, which will increase your magazine size by eight. Here's a better view of it because part of it gets cut off by the UI. This barrel has one accessory that will increase both your fire rate and magazine size by 10%. Now that the barrels are done, we're going to take a look at all of the grips. Now there are seven of these. Yes, seven. And some of these will have unique accessories. So let's take a look. The first grip here is going to lower your charge duration by 10% and will provide a 20% accuracy bonus. This one can spawn with an accessory that will decrease your accuracy bloom by 20%. The second grip will increase your elemental chance by 10% and decrease your recoil width by 30%. The next grip will increase your elemental damage by 10% and decrease your recoil width by 30%. The fourth grip will decrease your weapon sway by 30% and provide an accuracy bonus of 20%. This grip can spawn with an accessory that will increase your elemental chance by 10%. The fifth grip is going to decrease your weapon sway by 30% and increase your damage by 5%. Then the next grip is going to decrease both your weapon sway and recoil width by 30%. This one can also spawn with an accessory that will decrease your reload time by 
Finally, we have the last grip here, which will decrease your weapon sway by 30% and decrease your reload time by 5%. Now that that's done, we're going to take a look at the four grips, of which there are six. Don't worry though, these will not have any accessories. The first one is going to decrease your charge time by 10%. The second will increase your elemental chance by 10%. Then the next one will increase your magazine size by 2. In return, you will get an accuracy penalty of 10% and a damage penalty of 5%. The fourth foregrip is going to decrease your recoil width by 15%. The fifth foregrip will decrease your reload time by 5%. And the last foregrip will decrease your weapon sway by 30%. Next, we're going to take a look at the magazines. The magazines will not only determine the number of rounds in your mag, but also the base reload speed for your gun. The first magazine here is the 6 round magazine, which will provide a 10% damage bonus as it is the smallest mag. It will also set your base reload speed to 3.5 seconds. The second magazine is the 10 round magazine and it will not affect your damage in any way. Now there isn't actually anything highlighted in the part inspector tab, but if you look at where the 6 round magazine was, this design is how you can tell if you have the 10 mag, other than looking at the gun card obviously. This mag will set your base reload speed to 4 seconds. The third and final magazine is the 14 round magazine, and it will decrease your damage by 10%. This one will set your base reload speed to 4.5 seconds. Now we're going to take a look at the scopes. The scopes are not as straightforward on sniper rifles as they are on other guns in the game because each scope will have two unique accessories that it can spawn with. The first scope here will give you 4 times zoom. The first accessory that it can spawn with will decrease your weapon sway by 30%. Here's a better view of it that you can actually see. The second accessory doesn't have any listed modifiers, but it will increase your zoom to 4.3 times. The second scope will give you 5 times zoom. The first accessory for this scope will increase your elemental chance by 10%, and the second, although not listed here, will increase your zoom to 5.4 times. The third scope will provide you with 5.4 times zoom. The first accessory for this one will decrease your charge time by 10%, and the second one will do the exact same thing. Now, there's a lot going on here, especially for the parts that end in grip, so here's a table with all of these parts listed to help you out. There will be a spreadsheet linked in the description with all of this information and more for other parts. That'll do it for Melwan Snipers, guys. See ya.